Francesca Normington. I graduated in class of 2015. And I'm Nick Normington, and I also graduated in 2015. Graduated in 1985. Michael Bernstein, Sarah Skiba. Which were our names, which were our names when we were students too. We didn't adopt aliases and, and change our persona ever since. My name is Robert Mayville. I'm a graduate from McGeorge in 2015. And I'm Amy Carlson, and I also graduated in 2015. Hi, Aaron Brano, graduating class of 2014. Hi, Aparna Agnihotri, graduating class of 2015. Uh, my name is Catherine Mariano, and I graduated in 2011. And I'm Matt Vance, and I also graduated in 2011. Uh, we've been together for a couple of months. You proposed four years, I think, from the date of my mock trial, and then we got married in October of 2019, so almost four years. The proposal was April 20th, which is not the greatest timing plan, but that's when the trial was, so it worked out. <laughs> what was it? Uh, June 2014, so... Oh my gosh, almost 10 years. Crazy. Yeah, 10 years in June. 13, 14 years. Yeah. When you say it like that, it sounds like... So. Yeah, we'll be going on this, this August will be our ninth. No, this August will be our 10th wedding anniversary. So we were. Oh my God, you're right. For that. So, yeah, we're going on 10 years of marriage in August. We got married um, New Year's Eve 1984, and we graduated May 1985. We've been together a really long time 38 years marriage, but we've worked together over and over again, too, which is very unusual. Well, maybe not so unusual if you're, if you meet in a professional setting. Like graduate school, um, because there's very different, you know, dynamics for that. I, in dinner conversation, if you ask most people, would you ever work with your spouse? The answer is hell no. But I think Mike and I would, and yeah. we have. Yeah. We're in the same section, so we met um, at Bar Review. One night. Yeah, it's here. Mm -hmm. So we actually met at a friend's wedding. Um, he was also a McGeorge grad. And then we actually reconnected um, back in 2021 on a McGeorge Zoom uh, DEI uh, panel. And after, like, during the whole little Zoom panel, he was like, he was like, oh, I'd like to echo what Aparna just said. Okay, and I was like, that's so cute. And then right after, she DM'd I slid into his DMs the next day and he emailed me from his work email, nothing in the body, just the message said, are you free for dinner next week? And then the rest was history. That's so cute. We met the first day of law school. So we, we didn't know each other until we got to McGeorge. McGeorge was our stomping ground for our courtship. I remember wandering on campus. There was no one in the the canteen area, you know. Um, the cafeteria. Cafeteria, except Michael sitting there at a table. So I went and sat with him. And that we started a friendship. I think we had coffee together probably every morning for three years <laughs> before we got married and after we got married at the, you know, in the McGeorge cafeteria. We had met uh, first year during, I think it was orientation week when we first actually saw each other in the quad there. Uh, just socializing and, and hanging out and um, yeah, kind of ran into each other there and we became friends immediately and kind of ran into the same social circle. I was explained to Ashley, we just were actually good friends for a while until we started dating. So we met there at, at McGeorge, we, we both lived on campus. So we were pretty close to each other uh, in the on-campus uh, dorms and uh, yeah. Yeah, we're in the same um section is that right i'm pretty sure yeah we also yeah i forget the sections in law school a b and c and so we we were in section c so we were in the same law school section so we had those same group of courses that first first year of law school well we officially met at orientation but we did not start dating until the end of third year not the best timing but i was in trial advocacy with professors bricker and leach and i was about to do my trial and i needed a witness and this guy was available so I got to play Dr. Love in a trademark case, which is really exciting to us, uh, at least to me. I'm a patent attorney. And he so, really was named Dr. Love. That was his character. And so we, we got to uh, 
play the part in this this trial circumstance, and that's kind of how we, we started dating. <laughs> that's why we're here. And you did a very flamboyant, compelling job, and I thought it was funny. Professor Leach and some of the jurors who were watching said, well, we don't know about the trial so much, but you two really had a rapport. <laughs> And it worked out. About halfway through law school, um, we started dating. Really, the end of their second year of law school, I guess, is when we you'd say it was official. Um, is when we officially uh, became boyfriend and girlfriend. Uh, some, you know, maybe some dated terms there. I don't know. Um, but but that's when we were official and, and dated that summer and came back third year of law school and we were together our you know our third year of law school and then um, uh, we got married in 2013. So a couple of years after we graduated. Uh, Kat was working down in LA. I was working in Bakersfield, um, and then I proposed and moved down to LA. And then uh, we were engaged for about a year and a half until we got married in in the fall of 2013. That was like the most official explanation of our relationship ever. <laughs> well, you know, we're on the record here. I want to make sure it's a clear record. You know, I would I would say the first time we started dating or where our friendship became more than a friendship was when um, someone asked to borrow Matt's contracts book and he <laughs> and I was hanging out in his apartment because we were going to go I think hang out by the pool at McGeorge I don't know if it's still there I'm sure it's still there and um, he reached over because the book was on the floor behind me and he reached for the book behind me and kissed me so that was the first like non-friendship interaction um, wow. and I had yeah, well, I mean, you make it, I don't know if that's going to come off a little creepy or not. Or no, it's not. It was it. smooth. It was actually really smooth. It was, it was a touche part. Okay, well, yeah, well, she doesn't, she didn't explain to you that earlier in the day, we had some uh, mimosa brunch at, okay. at Ink, <laughs> and I don't know if Ink's still there or not, but we had a, a mimosa brunch at Ink with some friends, so, you know, she, she, she served me a few mimosas and uh, wanted to come over and, and hang out for the afternoon, so, you know. I don't know about all that, but anyway. We both came to law school in the previous relationships. Uh, so I started out as a group of friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, after a little over a year or so, you know, we kind of yeah. started a little more and then became official, I think, the summer before third year. Yeah. Uh, we were, like you mentioned, we were really good friends. We hang out with the same group of friends in our section. And so we always went to um, events together, barview, and so we just connected really well. And then we had some of the same interests. And at the time, again, we were both in relationships, so it was purely platonic at the time. But then, fast forward a year and a half later, we were hanging out. Both of us had ended um, our relationships, and then we started hanging out more often. And from that, I think it kind of just developed from there. And he had an internship after our second year in the summer. He had an internship, which was very close to where I had my internship. And so we would go out to lunch together and we would just talk about like our experiences. And I think we truly bonded over that as well. Um, and so I think we developed um, feelings for each other. And then that's kind of the rest is history. <laughs> So we to law school, we moved down to Orange County, and then um, we moved in together at that time, and we um, engaged in 2017 and married in 2018. And he's originally from NorCal. I'm originally from SoCal, um, Orange County. He just so happened to find a job in Orange County while I was already working up in NorCal. But so once he got that job, I was like, okay, time to move back down to SoCal. And so... Now we've been here the whole time since 2016, 2016. He actually proposed with a, a legal twist, of course. Um, so Robert's a patent attorney and he proposed by a patent. A patent was for a trip to Winnemucca, which is a <laughs> place in Nevada. <laughs> and so I was, I was driving home to get my car re-registered before I was preparing for the bar. And my, my 2006 um, Ford, uh, Ford, uh, I Forget think this is more detailed than yeah, you yeah, need. Yeah. But anyway, my car broke down in Winnemucca, mm -hmm. uh, Nevada, and I needed to get it repaired. And so I spent three, four days in Winnemucca going to the local sites and just, you know, to short circuit the conversation. Winnemucca is not the most involved kind of place in the world. And so Amy said jokingly, you know, you should write me a patent of things we could do in Winnemucca someday. And so I did. And in it, I proposed 
that we get married. You did wait like four years to write that patent, but you eventually did. Well, you know, statute of limitations <laughs> hadn't run yet. <laughs> when we met, we were both with other people. So I lived in Davis and uh, had a partner and um, Sarah had just started, a, a, had just ended a romance, but I think was kind of dating <laughs> um, when, when we first met. So it was just a friendship. It was just a deep kind of, a, you know, best friends from the time we met. And we had a really tight circle of friends. In those days, there were three sections. I don't know how many daytime sections there are nowadays, but there were three sections. It was a pretty big group when we first started, 300 and 330 students or so. And I would say almost everybody started their day in the, in the cafeteria. But, but we... Um, started class so that's the year when you have only your required courses right so we same. were we were in all of our classes together and i think we were in the same seats yeah i mean you get assigned a seat and <clears throat> you're, you're there every day staring at the same people which in my case was sarah because it's a u-shaped lecture hall and we sat across from each other and i was quite smitten with her i think she became fond of me later on but you know if, if I was if I was single when uh, we met, we would have been dating a lot sooner, I think. Not really. I'm, I went into law school thinking, you know, I'm here for one purpose. I'm here to study and pass the bar and do really well. If I make some new friends and maybe meet someone that's icing on the cake, but I wasn't really planning it. And when we first met, I certainly never thought that we would end up dating. Uh, one of my favorite stories was when we met Robert had a bowl haircut <laughs> and was very nerdy and geeky but sweet and his hair was always covering his face and he was kind of hiding behind it and I just thought well he's geeky like I don't really know him and then when he was my trial witness he got all dressed up and he slicked back his hair and I thought, wow, he really cleans up nicely. <laughs> He's like this whole new person that I had never really noticed before. And then he just did such a great job as a witness. And I remember I should have been thinking about law in the middle of my trial, but I was thinking, I don't know why, but I'm going to marry that guy. <laughs> and I did. So it worked out. And now she cuts my hair, so it looks a little better. <laughs> I think I need to cut it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some more exciting news. We've got a little one on the way, a baby boy due in a few months, and um, <laughs> it's exciting. We're excited. We can't wait. And um, McGeorge has been very kind and has already sent us some onesies to outfit the little guy, so stay tuned. Yeah, it's an exciting time, and uh, yeah, you have the McGeorge logo on a newborn, which is, you know, that's, that'll be a great picture for another video. It'll be great. <laughs> Actually, no, I, I really wasn't thinking about that. I gone to McGeorge straight out of undergrad. So I didn't really have any time off. Um, and I didn't think that I just kind of went into it as like another school experience. I didn't think that I would be meeting someone that I would spend the rest of my life with, especially since I moved to Sacramento from LA. I thought that after graduation, I'd immediately come back to LA, start working here and probably meet somebody who's more local. So the last thing I thought was I was going to meet one, my husband, future husband, and two, someone who wasn't from LA and from Bakersfield, no less. I'd never met anybody from Bakersfield until I met Matt or knew that Bakersfield was really like a place until I met Matt, actually. Yeah, no, it's uh, about the same. I didn't really, uh, uh, didn't go into it thinking of, of dating or finding anyone, really. It was just going in, having a good time at school and, and fun fun and learning obviously focusing on school but I, I kind of the same I figured I'd be back in, in Bakersfield we both uh, have families in, in Bakersfield and LA respectively and are close with our family so I think I always figured I would be back there and that's where I worked my first year out of law school in a firm in Bakersfield so kind of figured it'd be a similar situation and so it, it wasn't anything you know that obviously was planned at all and, and like like we said it started off as just a a friendship um, and then just kind of develop from there so what's the cliche law school and medical school is where relationships go to die um, so no law, law school is more is more associated with relationships breaking up not being not being formed it's a very intense place to spend time right so when you have a shared experience like that it's a lot easier uh, so both of our we've raised two sons 
and both of them went to law school. And we told each of them that a really good place to find a partner is law school. And our older boy actually is living with uh, his girlfriend. They're both lawyers, met in law school. Yeah, they'll, they'll marry too, I'm, I'm pretty sure. You know, we always, sometimes we reminisce about our law school past and just how crazy of like where we are today. In a different reality, we probably might have never met, but just in this timeline, in this reality, the fact that we met and we've been together ever since, we have a house, a dog, it's just been amazing in a whirlwind. Okay. So thank you to me, George. I remember my grandma always used to tell me, no, oh, don't marry a lawyer. But I think it has been the best thing. I mean, we we get what we do enough where we can support each other and provide advice. And I understand if he's in trial, he understands if I am. But it's different enough where we're not just talking about it all the time. It's really nice to be in relationships that with somebody who has uh, that law school experience. Uh, we are, A lot of our networks overlap, so we're able to attend uh, events together, uh, legal events. And then, um, you know, we have a variety of shared circles, like from our classes that we hang out with quite a few, quite a few folks. So it's, it's really nice to have those people in common. Yeah, and I think it's really nice that we've been hanging out with quite a couple of people that are all McGeorge grads. Um, and so we actually have like a set of couples that we hang out with. And it's really nice to have that, like Aaron was saying, shared experience. Um, and another thing too is like, it's nice to know where people came from. And so like Aaron knows about my law school experience. And so it's kind of nice as I kind of go through my career um, that we kind of have that in common.